Coming out heavy. Okay, Wyatt is checking out the pavers. What do you think, Wyatt? Very good. Hey. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hey friends, good morning. Welcome to this week's video of Montana Haven, Alaska edition. And this week is going to be filled with a variety of different things like it always is here in Alaska. And right now you can see Ethan up here on the ladder and Justin is back here and they're working on chinking the outside with this mortar white chinking and we just got our grass sowed in here about two weeks ago and it's coming up nicely but because we've got the grass sown, we may not really be able to finish it very well on the back side here because we're walking on the grass so you can see justin is standing there carefully on the drip line but yeah our grass is coming in it's not coming in very thick i think i might need to go ahead and sow it again with a different kind of seed um, it looks to me like about one third of the seeds came up. I'm not sure why, uh, but I'm gonna just try a different variety of seeds and maybe uh, we'll get a fuller lawn because I want a, a nice thick green lawn. Another thing we're going to do right now is I'm going to go take my truck and go to a gravel pit near me and we're going to get some loads of gravel and we want to finish this area here, put gravel right in here, some landscape fabric and gravel so that uh, we can make this look good. Then we want to take some boulders, some big rocks, and put it around here. So that's one thing we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some construction work um, for a client. Um, we'll be doing some prepping for some rock piers under his post. You're going to get to see that, hopefully. And some other things that I'll tell you about later. Well, I just got my load of gravel here. These guys loaded me up. My truck's squatting quite a bit, so... Let's see if I, can, if I can unload it. Might be a little bit of trouble, but might be able to scrape it off with the excavator if I can drop my tailgate. All right, heading home. Time for pavers. We're putting these pavers in and we got a lot of our kind of our landscaping rocks in place where we think we might want them. We can't get over the lawn right now but once maybe it freezes we'll put a couple on that side yet. So we're gonna get these pavers in and then we want to get some shrubs and plant these along here and then we're pretty much done with our landscaping. Eventually we still have to put rocks along there, maybe next year. Okay, Wyatt is checking out the pavers. What do you think, Wyatt? Very good. All right, now we gotta seed it around there a little bit, but that's done. Yay, that looks good. Okay, time to pick some what? Blueberries. Huckleberries. Actually, huckleberries. huckleberries. Yep. We are back in the blueberries today. 
picking blueberries. Actually, these are huckleberries. We had a friend of ours that has been a lifelong resident and we showed him the berries. He said, these are huckleberries. He says, there's lots of different varieties, but these particular ones that we're picking, he thinks are huckleberries. And look at that view, guys. This is our view while we are picking. Not too shabby. She's enjoying the blueberries. Eats them right off the vine. Out of here. Right here. Coming out heavy. We're back to the blueberry cleaning this morning. Keep going, Wyatt. It kind of works. It's pretty homemade. I went and bought this screen and rigged this up. Okay, Wyatt, that's good. Okay, well, we got all our blueberries put away, packaged. I think there was around eight gallons again, so we got quite a few. Well, I think they're huckleberries, maybe some of both. Um, a friend of ours that knows the area, he said they're definitely huckleberries, but he said the blueberries also grow in that same area. So there, we picked some different varieties. Who knows, they're all good. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put, I just don't think our, our, gar our yard uh, is growing very thick, even though I, I put it, I applied it really thick. I don't think everything's coming up. So I bought this Alaska lawn mix right here. And I'm hoping that this is um, actually better grass seed. So I'm gonna go and just kind of fill it in. And I brought some fertilizer as well. So we're gonna fertilize it and do that. And tomorrow we're actually gonna maybe do one final day of fishing. Avalon's birthday is coming up. So it's kind of her birthday, kind of for just one more family day out on the water. So we're gonna get up early, spend the whole day out on the ocean and hopefully do some, maybe get some silver salmon and some bottom fish. So that's gonna be fun. Um, and I also went to town and I got uh, some uh, um, shrubs. So you can see there's two of them sitting right there. This is a hydrangea. And I already forgot what that one is. It gets yellow and some flowers. And then Justin got some of these ferns. I think that looks so good. There's another one over there. Got one more we're gonna plant on the other side. And then we got a couple uh, couple other little ones, those purple red ones here that I wanna plant. It's starting to look good. We got these pavers in, so um, we got all this gravel in yesterday. We wanna water it down so it looks clean, but just so happy the way it's turning out. I love it, I love it, I love it. So let me uh, get some this seed on uh, the lawn. And then we're also going to our little, what's well, called a kicker motor, like a small, a uh, small motor, like an eight horse motor that we have that goes on our boat. Um, just kind of like an emergency motor. If your main motor fails, you can still get to shore or, you know, get back to the harbor, maybe hopefully safely. Um, it quit working last time we were out. So we're going to try to take it apart and try to get it fixed. So that's the plan. And that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, guys, two things. I got to show you the landscaping and the chinking and the big day tomorrow on the boat it takes a lot to get ready to go out on the ocean for a day so we've been preparing and the boys are cleaning everything getting everything ready just want to do a quick walk around and show you what we've got so far there's a hydrangea that the boys planted and i reseeded the whole yard and put fertilizer on it. So hopefully 
it's going to start growing a little thicker and a little bit better. But just the green is just nice to see. And there's the front of the house. As you can tell, it's starting to come together. I'm just loving the way she looks. And I know, okay, some of you guys are saying, I want to see the boat. Okay, fine, you can see the boat. There it is. We're going to take her out tomorrow. Excuse me. Hopefully we'll have some good footage for you, catching some silver salmon and maybe some bottom fish. Be nice if we caught a halibut. There we got, found that moose antler right there, the moose shed, moose paddle when uh, we were out hunting. And there's a little plant that we that I bought and some different herbs and things Priscilla's growing here that is doing so well some chives and different things there these hanging baskets and there's the wood box which is kind of ungainly and this thing that Chloe and Wyatt made supposed to be a dinosaur bird but we'll let them play with it for a while then we'll have to get rid of it there's uh, something we planted, another fern we dug out of the woods. And there is another bush that we planted. Yeah, it's very nice. Some brush we got to burn back there at some point. And there's the sun thinking of setting. I like to put a couple more uh, ferns maybe right in there. I think that would look pretty nice. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. We're going to get the boat ready, and we're going to get a very early start. So hopefully we can get down there when this Whittier Tunnel opens at 7.30. It's a two-hour drive, two-and-a-half-hour, two, two-and-a-half-hour drive. So we're going to get up about 4.45 tomorrow morning and hit the road by 5.20 or so. See you in the morning. All right, here we go. We are in a Whittier, we're fishing, and there's the first shrimp pot overboard. It's a bit foggy this morning, but I think it'll burn off. It's supposed to be sunny. And look at this waterfall over here. Pot number two overboard. Okay, well, we lost a hat in the water. We circled back and we were able to scoop it out of the water. So here we go. We're gonna catch some salmon. Okay, first fish on, finally. We're gonna have to get this one in. Uh oh no no Switch over, I don't know, can you? Oh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice one. It's the biggest! Pretty nice. Just let me bring it up this time, okay, gentlemen? I'll try to play. please do the paddle all the way in, okay? Yep, I'll try. Tired out this one. Really fighting. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, that wasn't even mine, that was another one. Uh-oh. Oh, we're on. We're on. Ooh. Watch this. Wait, 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 wait. I, I wish I could set this drag. I don't know how. I do not know how. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me bring it in. Let me bring it in. It's off. Ah. Nope, let him go. Let him go. I'm going to try it again. Here we go. Here we go. Nope, nope. Let's try it again. Keep it in there. I'll, I'll come around. I'll come around. Oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, bring him around. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, we lost him. Oh, no. no Justin, Justin. You got it. You got to get him. Justin, get on in. Get on in. Get on in. Yeah. right there. Wow. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, wow. It wants to go, just let it go. Bring it in. Pull it like right. 10. Be ready to... Yeah, yeah. Keep going. Hey, okay, there you go, Justin. There you go. Yes! <laughs> Good job, Ethan. Whoa, that's way bigger than mine. Take it out of there, Ethan. Wow. Oh, look at that. That's a silver. That's a silver. Yeah, white gum. Nice. Yay! Nice, Avalon's got one now. Cabin that back up or something. I'll let go, have one if you. I know. Okay, hold on. No, don't take hold of it, otherwise, we're gonna. I won't be ready. How about coming right here, Ethan? No, 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 no. Yes, you got it. Good job, Ethan. Good job, Avalon. Yay, another silver. Woo. Nice, Abby. That's a big fish. Wow. It's a fish. Look at that, girl. Go and get it. 
Go and get it. No, no. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! yeah. Hey, Bring it on in, what? Nice going. Guys, we just spotted a pair of killer whales out here. Look at that, right there they are. Well, this is what we caught. We caught uh, eight beautiful silver salmon ranging from what, five to almost 10 pounds. Beautiful, beautiful, plus a handful of rockfish. What a great day. Did you all enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Nice. Almost there. Man, it's a job bringing up these shrimp stuff. pots. Ooh. That's why they make shrimp pot poles. The green line, not the other stand. More people. People with more And now the green line goes, passes into the hamper. What? Since this is in the hamper. They sure get their workout in. For a few bites of shrimp. Oh, one more than a few bites of this one. Oh, okay, it's going up. Oh, it's orange. The verdict is in. Oh, boy. Hey, good morning. It is a very soggy morning out here. It's raining hard, it rained all night. 
and we're here at a client's home and we're going to be um, fixing some things for him. This is kind of a partial log home here. Somebody ever built it, put these posts all the way down to the ground and they're starting to get soft and rot out. So we recommended that he raises them up. We'll cut them off and we'll uh, put some stone columns around there. So that's what we're gonna get started on today. After working a day in the rain and getting thoroughly soaked, we are going to eat a wonderful meal here of Priscilla. What do we have? Silver salmon that we caught. Yes. Oh, that looks, doesn't that look amazing? Yep. So good. And some fresh potatoes from our very own little garden. Yes. Fresh <laughs> potatoes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. These are from our garden, yep. And fresh bread. Wonderful, so wonderful. Hey, good morning. We are back and today is a Saturday. Uh, missed out a couple days of videoing yesterday. <clears throat> I actually I taught school. We're doing school school here at home, our home school. And I said, you know, if I get a chance, uh, if I'm around, I don't have to work one day a week or whenever I get a chance, I will help teach school. So that's what I did yesterday. I had a chance to move some of the logs that we still had piled up along our driveway here from when we cleared our drive. I just literally haven't had the time to move them. So I finally got that move last night. Anyways, this morning, Ethan and I, we had breakfast, had a good time with the family this morning. Always like to do that Saturday mornings. You know, have a good, good uh, start the day off, start the weekend off together. I think it's so important when we can. Anyways, we're taking the boat in the other night when we got home from fishing. It was really late and we didn't, it was like 10 o'clock we got home and everybody was super tired and they didn't want to gas up the boat. So we're taking it down a couple miles to gas up and it's been raining the last couple days. You can see how windy it is here, really windy. And check this out, guys. I'm going out my drive and look at that. We got a log fell across the road. So I don't even know where it came from. Looks like over here somewhere, but I don't even see the stump, which is weird. If it snapped off. Oh yeah, it snapped off up here. Yep, see this stump right there is where it snapped off. So we'll have to move that. And today we're just gonna do a bunch of different things. We are. We're actually doing school today because we were out fishing on Wednesday. And maybe we'll get to, well, there's some cleanup we wanna do around the house outside. And uh, maybe we'll get to chopping some wood. Uh, there's a big pile of wood that we, I've been wanting to get to, we sawed it up and it still needs to be split. Uh, so hopefully we can get to that. And let's see, Avalon's birthday is tomorrow. So it's her 13th birthday. We wanna make it really special for her. She's kind of coming in, she's coming into womanhood. So we want to make it special. Going, starting her teens. So Priscilla's busy baking a cake for all that. It's a, it's a great day. It's rainy and windy, but it's good to be alive and just grateful. So many blessings that we're thankful for. if you can tell but it is dumping rain just dumping well next 
thing on the list is this dead snag has been bothering me. With this high wind and the trees falling down, I was been concerned it's gonna fall down on like our car or something. So I'm gonna cut it down because it's a leaner and it's eventually gonna fall. It's been dead since we moved here. I don't know why I didn't cut it down in the beginning. Anyways, I'm gonna cut her down so we can get it out of here. Don't have to worry about it anymore. What you cooking, girl? <sighs> Lots of things. I just got done making mashed potatoes. I'm doing gravy. I am doing challah bread. And in here, I have granola. Whoa. So, doing a lot of things. For, for the occasion is? For tomorrow, mostly, for Avalon's birthday. Right. And then this granola is for when the guys go hunting and maybe for company we'll see well we're at the restaurant here at uh, a mexican restaurant celebrating avalon's birthday what'd you get babe mm. it's called a cheese crisp yes it's chipotle chicken very good nice what'd you get dear um a chimichanga it's <laughs> good well, it's Sunday and we are home from church and getting ready for our good dinner that Priscilla's making. <laughs> That's a three-layer cake, babe. You got anything to say about yeah, it? Yeah, it's a four-layer cake, actually. Ooh. Okay, we're going to see how that thing turns out. Frost it all and nice. decorate it a little bit. And we've been busy blowing up some balloons over here. Yeah. Okay, it's time for Avalon to come in here. Okay, Avalon, come forward a little bit. Okay, now look towards my voice. Okay, now open your eyes. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you're nice. Mm. Very wow. nice. Very nice. This is great. We got Michael and Emily and their family over here. What is your favorite scripture in Hawaii? Psalms 23, because it says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for he is with me. What do you want to grow into, and who do you want to become? When I grow up, I want to be loving, kind, patient, happy, fun, and follow his command. Okay, one more thing. Let it go. 
This is Avalon's special gift that we want to give Avalon as she's growing into her young womanhood. And it is a reminder of the in God's heart, like you are in God's heart together with Him. Now, let me see if it fits your finger. Let me tell us, ooh, yeah. Right hand, dude. Okay. And you can someone lay up their ring finger. Right there, this is your ring finger. My ring Thanks, Mom and Ben, so I love it. You're welcome.